Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a traveler's notebook insert that I wanted to share before it goes into the shop. This one is creepy. I like sometimes doing things that are a little on the creepy side or have a little bit of the macabre, maybe the dark side. Of course, that does not represent me and who I am, but just something that fascinates me very much. This TN is not for you if you don't like creepy things. Of course, Edgar Allan Poe is on the front. I loved reading his work when I was young. I still enjoy it. I have a beautiful book that my sister bought me. It's a collection of his works and Ooh, talk about creepy. He could really write some things that were out there. This is full of images that are a little on the disturbing side. This was from a card depicting the death of... I need to look up his name again, but it was the French Revolution and this man was actively involved in a rebellion group and he was murdered by a woman. So here he sits in his tub, he was writing, and that's a pretty famous scene. I will, I will look up the names and definitely put this in so that you'll know the name of it. Behind that is a picture that's a little creepy. It's from the 40s and it just ended up being a double exposure. So I, I think it was intended to be a really sweet picture, but this baby looks like it's spinning around in circles. And this looks like it's depicting an execution. I need to look this up as well. This had no markings on it. Um, it was just a loose book page I purchased recently and I scanned it. I need to look it up and find out exactly who this is. It's interesting. I think the woman who murdered this this activist way, way back in the day was executed. And she was she seemed to be proud of what she did. So it's interesting that we have these two pages across from each other. This has a lot of space for writing. I love this page. We've got a clear page from a science book showing the anatomy of a frog. If anyone's read Edgar Allan Poe, you know that he was, I think, pretty um, horrified and enchanted all at the same time with this sort of thing, like dissection and uh, insult and injury. So I will leave it at that. And then this is some paper that I hand stained and dyed and it's got the red ink in it, a little bit of a metallic uh, touch there. And this is just part of, a, part of a page. You'll see the other part of that in the second half of the book. More space for writing. This page is from a very old, early 1900s, um, medical association book and it's got different advertisements for cures for nervous disorders and mental diseases and there's more blank paper uh, this paper is a little heavier weight than regular copy paper um, I believe it's 24 pounds instead of 20 pound paper this is a really really neat book page it came from a book I have about grammar, but it's using vampire slang and vampire terminology to get things across. Here is another dyed page. I love the way the ink is running there, and that's just an image from a book sewn to the bottom. This is a part of that uh, grammar book. I fancy dames with broad shoulders. I wonder if that's better for biting. See, the, the transitive vampire is the book. And we have a very odd saying here, to nuzzle flagpoles is her secret desire. 
I was uh, an English major in college and literature that was my my passion and especially the English poets that's in around the 1800s the Lake District the romantic poets like Shelley and Keats and Browning just uh, I love all of that so just more pretty pages um, there is a paperclip charm here that made me think of the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe and this is from a book page showing the medical lesson which includes a dissection it's an anatomy lesson for students and of course it's a really wonderful thing that doctors have learned what is in the body and how to work with it but the picture itself is uh, a little scary a little disturbing and then this is just a book page that had images that were a little bit just felt a little scary and it looks like this lady's name is aunt nag this uh, little picture here came from the same book there's more blank paper, and that paper, I believe, came from some stationery. It is Beckett writing paper, so it's a really nice texture. This, this tin has some really nice paper in it. Here is part of a book page that shows a bird going after an insect. He's just about to, to reach it. And then this page, this was printed onto some of my tea stained paper. This is an artwork that the, the original title might have been in a foreign language, but it's about death coming for youth. That's a pretty scary painting. That is just another book page that was a little odd. A little, I guess odd is not the right word, but just a little bit on the provoking side as far as disturbing images and such. Here is a really neat library card, Monsters and Madonnas. So this one is included. This was from a postcard. I'm not sure what this was representing. I had to cut it down a little bit to fit into the book. And there's not any English on here to help me understand what this postcard was about. But the face fits. This is from a book page um, about tarot cards, which I am not involved with. I don't read them. I don't have them read. But this page is, these are the death cards. And there's one on this side and one on the other side of the book. And they were, there were all sorts of cards in this book, um, different playing cards. It's a really interesting book because it talked about the evolution of cards and card games and tarot cards, playing cards. It, it is just really fascinating. There's another hand-dyed page. This is an old um, painting. It's a girl sewing by candlelight. It's just really dark and there's so many shadows and the depth of the room behind her. It just feels like, oh, something might be in the shadows. And then we get to the center of the book. He looks frightened. I'm not sure why. Or it looks like a he to me. I'm not sure about what exactly that is on that page. I wish I knew. Sometimes I find loose book pages. So I'm not sure everything that's on them. There is more tea stained paper. More of the cambric writing paper. There's the other part of the girl sewing by candlelight. And you can see what I mean about the shadows and the depth of the room. It looks like she's sitting by her bed. It's just... Um, feels really somber and a little bit questionable. I see on the other side of here, it's the other side of that 
page with the death cards. And then this, this um, TN has four pockets in it. There are two in the inside cover and then two closer to the center of the book. This is from a local um, poster that was for an event. I came across a stack of these and had some really beautiful images on it and some that were a little bit disturbing. There's the other part of that book page. He's certainly got some dark circles around his eyes and just looks uh, a little confused, maybe. Here is the other part of that page where death is coming for youth. It looks like a clock face there, and the clock seems to be on the end of a staff. See, he's holding something here. I don't know if you can see his hand there, but it's like time has run out. There is uh, more writing paper. The other part of a book page. There is the other part of the medical lesson where they're showing a dissection to very interested students. Here is a little envelope, and in that, there's a little card with a snake on it. Here's a little charm that I made. Again, there's paper there to help protect from the paper clip. Um, this looks like author. It looks like it says Punisher. This was another one of those. That's from that poster I found locally, or one of the posters. And you can see this charm. It has the skull on it and a couple of black beads. And then there is a clown stamp. I do not like clowns. I know a lot of people don't. Um, I have two cousins who we kind of all pick on each other about the clown thing. They don't like them either. And, of course, there are some scary movies out there about clowns. More dyed paper. I love the way it pulled in that little area in the paper. There is another page from the Transitive Vampire, the book about grammar. These sentences are just awesome. With shoulders like those, she can shrug off. I can't part of the words cut off. I think it's just my problems as well as her own. He beat me at a game of hearts in a field of digitalis. Ah, digitalis is from the plant foxglove and it it's very very deadly but foxglove is used to make the heart medicine so that's perfect. Those sentences are pretty cool. I was very miserable. You can see the bat the girl who is on the ground. That's the other part of the page from the old uh, Medical Association magazine. And more writing space. Of course, there is the master at creepiness himself, Edgar Allan Poe. Mm. There's the other part of the clear book page with the frog parts. That's the other part of the page from what looks like an execution. And then we have a library card that says juvenile delinquency and just a card for writing on. That is an old, that's from an old book page. It's an image. Shock and awe is what that looks like. And that is that. Two charms. I'm not sure how many pages this is right off the top of my head, but that'll be in the description. And I'll be listing this now. I appreciate uh, very much your watching this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.